I'm going to show you this uh, app that I've been using for a couple of years. It's an awesome little tool um, that you can use. It's an electronic whiteboard or an electronic chalkboard or whatever you want to call it. You can draw plays on different uh, screens. You can show your players some plays that you want them to try and hit or to try to learn or plays that uh, you want them to use in the match. It's called Quick Tactics. Did I say that already? Anyways, here it is. Um, let's just clean off this screen. All right, so you can see it's a tennis court, and um, uh, here, this uh, red kind of thing here, that's where you can control the color of your line. So I find the yellow line shows up nicely on the courts here. Um, this little X, oops, that little X uh, clears all your lines. Um, let's start with this one here. So this one here toggles between the different sports fields. And so there you have tennis and then soccer and uh, basketball, hockey, uh, football, baseball, swimming, and volleyball. So those are, the, those are the screens that you use. I use tennis, obviously. All right, and then this one here um, toggles between color or black and white. So I like this, uh, I like color. And um, these guys here, they are undo and redo. So let's say you're drawing some lines and then you want to undo and then redo. I don't know whether you can see me hitting that button and then redo. Um, so it undoes and redoes everything in sequence. Um, okay, so let's clear everything. Okay, so this little dot here, so that controls the thickness of the line, so we can make the line pretty thick, and uh, or we can make the line pretty thin, and I actually like the lines um, like just a little bit thicker than the thinnest line. Alright, so that we showed you already controls the color of the line. This one here controls whether the line is dashed or dotted, so we can draw a dotted line or or a dashed line or a solid line. Not dashed or dotted, dashed or solid. I don't know what I'm thinking. It's tired, I'm tired. Um, this one here controls whether it's gonna be like just a regular line or you hit it once and it toggles over to a line with an arrow point at the end. You see, but um, that doesn't work so great because when you draw the line the opposite way, the arrow is still pointed this way. So um, the arrow tool doesn't work that great, but what does work good is um, is uh, the ball on the end for tennis anyways it's kind of perfect um, hit across court hit it down the line but the safer play is to hit it back cross um, anyway so that's that this one here toggles between a free form line like the ones that we just drew you know free form line or you can um, it only draws so straight lines so you can have perfectly straight lines it keeps everything straight um, or it toggles between that and an eraser so let's say you don't want to you, you want to uh, remove a line that's out of sequence so you can't use these two arrow guys here so you can use this eraser function and you can erase oops I guess I just wow it takes everything eh? Um, anyways I prefer the freeform line for um, tennis because I like um, my players to see the arc over the net and I like the, I actually like the line that has the ball at the end. So you can kind of see the direction that they're hitting into. Um, okay, but let's uh, continue now. We'll clear. So all of these four down here, these are, um, they call them markers. And um, so the first one gives you the different kinds of balls. So there's a soccer ball. And then you toggle to a basketball. And then, oops. That's a hockey puck. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, this would be a baseball, a football, tennis ball, and volleyball. So those are your markers. Um, this garbage can, oops, let's go back one. This garbage can down here, so that clears all the markers. So you click on the garbage can, yes, clear all the markers, and um, then you have a nice clean screen again. And uh, right here we have um, different colored t-shirt. Oh, I skipped one. So this one here 
that um, these are O's, and uh, so this would be good for football. When you do, um, oops, X, you know, you have your X's, and also you can line up your linemen against each other. And so when you have a lot of players and you use X and O's, you're more comfortable with that. You can do that. Um, let's clear these guys, though. And then this next one is different color T-shirts. You see red, green, blue, um, yellow, white. So we'll have a white shirt guy against black, red, against blue shirt guy. Okay. And then this last one here toggles between a ref's shirt. So there's your umpire or ref and a white shirt. All right. So uh, is that everything? Um, did I do this one? I can't remember. This one is the share um, button. So once you've gotten your play all set up, then you can share it. You can save it or you can share it using uh, whatever you like to use, Gmail. Um, all right. But you can see it's a pretty awesome app and it's free. Um, you know, you can, I kind of like the dotted lines actually and then the ball in the end. So let's say you're trying to show your students uh, how to hit an inside out forehand. What is an inside out forehand? Um, well, first of all, so let's assume this guy's right-handed, so his forehand side is on this side, and his backhand side is on this side, and um, so if blue shirt guy hits a ball, maybe a little bit short, trying to hit to white shirt guy's backhand, it's coming a bit slow, white shirt guy can move around his backhand to take it on forehand side, and then send it back um, the way it came. So that's called an inside out forehand. I'm sure you all know that. So let's clear this. Anyway, so that's Quick Tactics. It's an awesome little app. Um, it's free. And unfortunately, it's only available on Android. Um, yeah, that's sad. I, I haven't been able to find it or any equivalent on iOS or Apple. So I had to buy this. Uh, cheap Android tablet, which um, actually works awesome with this app. It's called Quick Tactics. Quick. Oh man, that was poor planning. Quick Tactics is the best electronic whiteboard that I've found uh, for tennis. Actually, the only one that I've found. So download it, try it out, and let me know what you think.